Hello. This story is about how perfectionism is ruining my life. So I had a goal. It was a very simple goal. And that was I wanted a big fucking print to put on my wall. Criteria, desert-ish setting, magic hour. And I knew I wanted to take it on medium format or large format film. So I figured, why not just drive out west, bring every camera you own. How could that how could that be overwhelming? And see what happens. So that's where this starts. Six months ago. Now I knew that I wasn't going to take the photo in the middle of the day. So I was just kind of driving around, you know, wasting time, exposing film. I had an idea that I wanted to take, you know, there, there's always an idea of like in your head of like the perfect shot. And sometimes you form that before you actually see the thing, which I think is what I've learned is something I, I can't do or what I shouldn't do. Um, because then it ends up where like, I'm looking for something that doesn't exist, but I think it exists. And I'm just kind of like driving around aimlessly or I start getting in my head about like, well, I think that's exactly what it is, is when I find something and I'm like, okay, that's okay. I'll settle for that because it's, you know, it's not what I envisioned in my head. And then the final product, there's a part of me. And I think this is where perfectionism kind of turns into like, a little parasite is it gets in your head and says it's good but it's not what it could have been could have been like an amazing thing that you, and you didn't do it you f***ed that up somehow um, and this is like this is kind of I'm kind of getting ahead of myself so anyway I found this Joshua tree I set up the large format because I was like you know what I'll wait for the light to get good And this is, this is what I was talking about, where I like this photo, but I think in my head it was like, I was, it's not what I was going for. So, which is fine. That's not something that you necessarily have to uh, avoid, which is like being critical of your work. But again, after I and, I, and I, and it's different as time passes because I look at the photo now and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. I still wouldn't frame it or still wouldn't hang it, but it's not a bad photo, uh, but in my head, it's like it's not what it what it was supposed to be. And so the quest continues on, and I decided the next day I was going to head over to Arizona. Oh, wait, wait, not before my Pentax 645 decided to just break on me. <laughs>
God, same thing. Uh, and I, again, it's like, I don't know what I'm expecting, but I, I like all these photos. It just wasn't, it wasn't the one. So I was like, okay, back to the drawing board. You know, I only drove 15 hours. <laughs> so for the next trip, I was like, you know, let's keep it a little more local. So I called my, my homies, Garrett and Austin, and we went out east to the grasslands to see if we could make something happen. I like those last two shots with the X-Pan. I think those are decent, <laughs> uh, but they were, that, that ain't it, Chief. So I said, so I told myself. Um, so yeah, cut to a few months later. It's summer, I'm like, all right, I really need to like wrap this up because it's getting a bit ridiculous. So I thought I'll just pack my shit up and I'll go to South Dakota.
so the first day there went very well. Um, I think I knew when I was taking those photos that those were going to be the ones. Um, I just, it was just like the lighting was so good. I was in the right place at the right time. I got really lucky and I could just kind of feel it. Uh, but that night, okay, look, I'm, I'm from the South, from the Houston area, then North Texas, hurricanes, tornadoes, fine, whatever. It's a storm, but holy sh <laughs> the mother of all storms rolled in and I was sleeping in my car. Uh, and needless to say, I got, I got like an hour of sleep. Just wanted to give a shout out to the state of South Dakota because your, your storms are terrifying. Of course, it's not a national park trip uh, without taking a photo of the share. As you can see with the footage, um, I brought the Fuji X100V. At some point in the summer, I was like, you know, I should just get this camera that everyone's talking about and have it on me and just always be taking photos. And I might end up just taking the photo that I want printed. And I like the camera a lot. I like the workflow. I like the shots. It's super easy to use. Um, and again, I've been basically bringing it with me everywhere. And I, I specifically like some of those from Badlands, like on par with the film shots. But when it came time to get the print made, um, I had some test prints sent out and I decided on this one shot. It was shot with the Pentax 645 uh, Portra 400. And I found a place near me called Reed Imaging that drum scans negatives and then you can make, you can have a print done. Um, and so I was like, okay, stars are aligning, let's do it. So I took it to them and they got to work.
yeah, here's the print. I'm really happy with it. Uh, this video was gonna end with me framing it and putting it on the wall. Uh, but I guess due to, I took it to get framed, but I guess due to COVID, like there's a back order for supplies or something. So it was gonna take like four months, four or five months. And I was like, mm, I'm just gonna, just gonna put out the video. It's fine. You get the idea. Uh, so yeah. Oh, uh, here's something. I started a Patreon. Hear me out. Uh, two things. Number one, this just supports the channel. Uh, I recently, I recently quit my job, uh, so I'm full-time freelance. This just helps me keep making these videos. Um, and two, with every video that I upload, I upload an additional video that's uh, color grading tutorials and gear breakdowns. So it's just like a very dry screenshot, but it's you can watch me color grade some of these shots live. Like this video that went up today, um, there's a video where I pick out five shots from it and just talk about like how I approach grading, how I shot it, lenses, uh, camera, filters, all that stuff. So it's just like behind the scenes and there'll be some words and like, I want you guys to ask me questions and I'm gonna have questions for you guys like whenever I run into a problem. So it's just a little, it's better than the comment section on YouTube because sometimes that can just be a nightmare. Uh, so anyway, if you wanna support, it would mean the world. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next one.